As we gather here, let's give thanks for the wonderful celebration of your most beautiful gift, the gift of love. Thank you for the gifts of friends and family. All of us are here because we are some way connected to Adriana and Christian. What a powerful connection that binds us to all together. Thank you for this moment. Let us remember to slow down, take a breath, and take in the sheer joy and love that surrounds us. May you, Christian and Adriana, love each other as much as you are loved. There are so many different ways you can go with a speech. You could talk about how destiny brought these two together. But what do I see here tonight? Not so much destiny. I see a room filled with family, friends, and extended family that have helped mentor and raise influence two young people who have in front of God today pledged to love one another, support one another, and be the best version of themselves. They have trusted in each and every one of you, and you have served them well. It takes a village, and the amount of time and effort the two of you have put into the planning of this wedding is the same attention to detail that you should put into your marriage. The two of you will feel this is the most important day of your life. I'm not one to believe in fairy tales, but as I stand here tonight and look around, I can't think of a more magical moment in our lives. And truly, I wish that this moment and time could last forever. Today I had a, a once in a lifetime experience of walking my daughter down the aisle. As I look at her tonight, I can't believe where the time has gone. It's like one minute she was five and then she was 25. We just need to cherish every minute with our kids because time just doesn't come back. The last couple weeks I've tried to reflect back to understand where the time has gone, but came up with no answer. Lynn and I have been fortunate to watch her grow and become the beautiful lady that she is today. As a father, it's not easy to let go. I have worried over 25 years, you hope and pray that someday she finds that special guy that will take care of her. Someone that will be there and support her, whether she needs to laugh or to cry. And I can say with confidence that I have witnessed that Christian has been there for both. You are a stand-up guy and a great gentleman, Christian. Thank you.
get open that first. I was lucky enough to play a few seasons of soccer with Christian a few years ago. It was quickly evident that Christian wasn't the most skilled or technical player on the field. But what he did possess was something greater. He was very reliable and dedicated. Not missing a game in two years. When he was on the field, he gave it 110%. Also, his organizational skills were impeccable. Before the season even started, Christian would make a spreadsheet detailing who was responsible for bringing beer to each game, <laughs> making sure every game was accounted for. I believe that all these qualities and traits that Christian possesses and demonstrated on the soccer field are transferable in life. Christian, it has been a privilege getting to know you and spending time with you over these last couple years. I am looking forward to what the years have ahead in store for us, for you and my sister. Adriana, you look beautiful tonight and I love you. I wish you and Christian nothing but the best. And so Adriana, getting to know you over the past four years or so has been awesome. Uh, seeing you and Christian together, well, I think it was just meant to be. The look on Christian's face today will forever be an image in our minds. And uh, as I saw a man looking down the aisle at a woman he will spend the rest of his life with. Adriana, I know that you'll make an amazing Nona one day. I know this because you already act like an old lady. Because you go to, <laughs> you go to bed early on weekends, wrapped up in blankets with a warm cup of tea. Now, Adriana, I, I have to tell you that when Christian was of dating age, um, he may have dated, he may not. I really don't know. Because we never really saw anybody. And I'd, I'd ask him often, Christian, are you dating anybody? Can we meet her? Are you going to bring her home? And all I would get was, ma, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not worried, but I'm just asking. So I'd let some time go by. And, you know, again, I'd say, Christian, are you dating someone? Are you going to bring her home? Can we meet her? Ma. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Till finally, one day, he did say to me, Ma, listen. I'm only going to bring one person home when it's time and when I'm ready. So Adriana, I tell you, without a doubt and without hesitation, that from the moment you walked into our home, I knew that Christian had found the love of his life. He had found his beautiful wife. Vince Lynn, thank you so much for raising a beautiful and caring daughter. The second she walked into our home, like Tania said, we knew she was the one. You could tell she comes from a warm and caring family. It only makes sense that her and Christian would find each other, fall in love, and grow into the incredible couple that we know and love today. When Adriana first met Christian, he was so obviously smitten with her, and although it took a few tries, I believe he mentioned six, <laughs> he finally napped her. After just a short time together, we knew that these two were in it for the long haul. When the day finally came that they got engaged, Adriana was so excited to be marrying Christian that she barely gave him the chance to finish proposing before she was already calling and texting us to tell us the news. His naturally positive nature is just one of the many things that makes him such a positive match for our best friend. This couple is so beautiful, both inside and out, and when you see them together, their love and respect for one another is obvious. We are so excited to see what the future holds for these two. And we know that they will have a lifetime of love, happiness, 
and amazing memories to look forward to. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much to the both of you for including me in your special day today. Uh, again, it's been a complete honor and I couldn't be happier for you. And both uh, myself and Stephanie, really, um, we can't wait to share more great times with you guys. I'm also filled with extreme happiness knowing that you are reading this and are either crying or laughing, but if I say something too sappy, your makeup will run, even though you don't need it. See how I <laughs> So I will make this short and sweet. I love you. Bye. P.S. See you at the altar. Oh, he made a puzzle. This is what happens when you marry an engineer. Let's get time for that. Oh my god. One, four. I can only imagine how beautiful you look right now, and I cannot wait to see you at the church. Your beauty, warm heart, kindness, sense of humor, and everything else about you is why I know we will have a successful, and most of all, a happy marriage together. <laughs>